wanted to redo my mat board. So I threw hot sauce in my assault pack and it exploded. Went over everything, destroyed my Peltor Ear Pro, not the super expensive ones, but still expensive enough that I've had forever. Kind of sentimental, but you know, it is what it is. Took all the uh, tape off my mat boards, cleaned them off. Don't use Gooby on, use or goof off, use just straight alcohol. Don't waste hand sanitizers, get a bottle of alcohol, it'll strip everything off of it. It's gonna take a minute, but you can do it. I believe in you. So, redoing the mat board, there's a few things I would change in it, so I'm gonna make those improvements this time. Different items that I recommend. So you could either use just straight Gorilla Tape, or you can get 100 mile an hour tape. This is the one inch Gorilla Tape that I may or may not use here. Good stuff there. You're gonna need plexiglass, obviously. So these are sized to about a piece of paper. Okay, so you can just throw a notebook paper in as back, backing so you can write on this, take notes, or you can put an actual map in it. Obviously, the whole map's not gonna fit in here. You have to section it out, fold it, do whatever you gotta do. Then you can write with Sharpie or map markers on the plexiglass and then clear it off if you're gonna be captured so the enemy doesn't have all your information like they would if you wrote directly on a map. And you can just keep reusing it rather than wasting paper. This is loom tape, luminescent tape, glows in the dark. You just have it, the backing, some right in the rain notebook paper. So then when you have this behind the plexiglass, you can read what you've wrote on the plexiglass at night because the glow in the dark stuff is behind it. It's pretty neat. Definitely not my idea. Smarter people than I that have been in the military a lot longer than I have figured this out. And I've taken that from them. So by the end of this, what you're gonna, what the, the end state of this will be, you will connect these two, there'll be tape on this side, the side and the bottom, allowing you to open this side up and slip a piece of paper in there. Same, same, same dealio on this side. It's gonna connect like a book. And then you can shut it, open it, fold it around and do what you want. So with that being said, let's get rolling. All right, so we've taped all, we've taped it together like a book. We've taped the other three sides of each piece of plexiglass, and then we taped the bottom here so that you can only put paper through the top right corner if you're looking at it from this direction. Give you a better idea. You've got the piece of notebook paper in there. This will be the outside where you could also put a map in front of that notebook piece of paper. And then on the inside, you'll have your loom tape. It's on the inside because you don't want it glowing everywhere as soon as you take this out of your assault pack or your ruck. All right, so now we've got two sets of boards. We're gonna tape them together. Wait one. So. There's a little bit of a gap in between these two boards so that when I tape them, put a piece of one inch tape on this side, a piece of one inch tape on this side, each having overlapping bits on the end. So then you can either fold it over this way or you can either fold it over this way. Gives it enough room to do both. You can see that. And that is your mat board. Get an alligator clip on here and an alligator clip on the side and you're good to go. All right guys, really quick, wanted to kind of sum up the mat board that I made. So on one side, we have a map on the outside that I can easily reference looking at it. 
orient it with the compass and all that fun stuff, ensuring that metal isn't by the compass to throw it off. On this side, recommend putting right in the rain notebook paper behind it so that it is waterproof because it's bound to get soaked. Or covered in hot sauce if you don't, you know, secure your hot sauce correctly. Take that large alligator clip off the outside, opening it up for the inside. So I've got right in the rain paper covered in glint tape. And then I've got a few smaller pieces of paper covered in glint tape on this side. The reason I put it inside is because if I'm opening this up at night, I don't want, this, this is very bright. And as I pull this out of my pack to look at my map, you know, I don't want something glowing. So that's why glint tape was on the inside. That's a change that I made from the last one. Overall, pretty happy with this. It's not perfect. You know, the corners are not perfect. I can throw some more tape over that later. I actually had just the amount of black Gorilla one inch tape for this. But this is a really awesome little map case. The size of paper is about perfect. Wouldn't want it any larger for light infantry. This can go in the back of your salt pack or the top of your large Alice ruck to get to easily access. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. This is a great map case. I highly recommend you make yourself one, whether you're a civilian, you are a first responder, or a military guy. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.